Welcome to Media Space Members Daily. We bring you exclusive interviews from our leadership group and other professional influencers within the media, marketing, gov, tech community globally. Today I have with me Karina Stan, Director of EU Policy and Head of the Brussels Office at Developers Alliance. Hi Karina, how are you? Fine, thank you. What are the current challenges for software developers in the EU? Firstly, software developers are facing the same challenges due to the corona crisis as all the other people. They have families, they are present in all social economic areas. Uh, as a workforce, they proved to be resilient and responsive. They were eager not only to respond to the increased um, need for digital products and services, but also to contribute to solve the new problems that the society is facing during these difficult times. We can, for instance, remember there were numerous hackathons organized this year. Strictly related to businesses' challenges, um, while we know that EU is a champion of regulation, um, according to the annual report, the state of European tech presented this week by, by Atomico, uh, the three main regulatory hurdles or, or issues limiting the growth of startups and scale-ups uh, in Europe compared to, to other large markets like the US and China are first the persistent, uh, persistence of regulatory fragmentation, then uh, funding limitations, and, and third, uh, over-regulation. I'd add to this the latest uh, protectionist tendencies which are translated in disruption of data flows and, and data localization. What are the opportunities for software developers with special regards to the upcoming Digital Markets Act and other regulations related to online platforms and digital competition? The main objectives for the upcoming regulations for digital services and, and digital markets in the EU to put order into the internet, they are salutary. Uh, for example, on illegal content, it is not for the internet companies or for the software developers to decide what is illegal or not. It, it's a, a polit political democratic decision. Um, I mentioned before regulatory fragmentation as a main challenge in the EU. So the future updated rules for digital services could be an opportunity to alleviate it. Uh, of course, if the policymakers get it right. Um, on the Digital Markets Act, um, well, it, it gives a false sense of benefit for some mid-sized digital companies or other players in the market. Um, the regulatory interventions that are being contemplated um, are so radical and disruptive that it's impossible to predict how the digital markets in the EU will settle afterwards. So the, the details and the way the new rules will be implemented, the impact of a flowed approach, this is worrisome for, for software developers. And, and, and this proposal with, with the narrow focus on big tech will have unintended consequences. It risks significantly reducing the incentives and the tools that allow internet companies to grow. And uh, facing such deterrence to profit, uh, some companies will likely narrow their offers for the EU and even leave the markets. Uh, there will be no incentives for others to replace them. So instead of opportunities for innovative entrepreneurs, we'll see small companies that are relying on platform ecosystems or and even the consumers paying the price of thrashed and faulty regulations. What's your advice for professionals and decision makers in the media space? Pursue their mission with resilience and flexibility to engage in conversations and to always do a reality check um, and to be innovative. Because we need innovation in all areas, including policy making and regulations. And uh, not to forget to take a break when needed. Thank you, Karina. Some great advice there. Stay tuned for the next episode of Media Space Members Daily. In the meantime, connect with us at mediaspace.global.